Hey guys, my name is Gert Hendricks. I'm a safety coach at FTS Safety and today we're going to talk about a HIRA. HIRA standing for Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment or just short risk assessment. Now a lot of people come to me and say, Gert, I've never done a risk assessment. Let's quickly have a look at the basics of it. Have you ever crossed the road? Was your task to cross the road? Well, what do you do? Firstly, you stand on the side of the road. Then you're looking up and down. What are you looking for? Well, you're looking for vehicles. And then you're going to look for a safe place to cross. You're going to look at the cross the robot, zebras, and the signage to be up. And then when it is safe, you're going to cross. So let's quickly have a look at the elements of this risk assessment. Firstly, we need to identify what is a hazard. Hazard being the source of exposure to danger. So what is dangerous here? It's the vehicles. Secondly, what is the risk, the, the probability that injury or damage will occur? Well, it's a very high risk that if that vehicle bumps you, you're going to get injured or even die. Now, the controls that was put in place to make sure that you can do it safely, firstly, is a continuous risk assessment. You stood on the side of the robot looking left and right and left and right until it was safe and then you started crossing. You put engineering controls in place. There was the robot and the crossings. You have even put signage in place stating where it is safe to cross. We're going to put a safe working procedure. That is where you can teach somebody else to cross a road. Is that important? Yeah. Have you guys ever seen a child cross a road? Yes. They just run. Reason being, they haven't got any experience. And it's big, that's why we need a safe working procedure and how to teach people in crossing the road. So you guys can see here that you have been doing risk assessment ever, every day without even thinking of it. And that's why I'm convinced that the majority of the companies are doing a very good job regarding a safe working environment. It is just the paperwork that might be lacking. I want to take you back to a previous video where we had a look at the wolf. Let's quickly go back there and we say we have got a task walking outside okay and suddenly this wolf come a past firstly what is the hazard it is a wolf what is the risk bodily injury it can bite us it can even kill us the rating that is serious if somebody kills us that is serious the controls what can we do firstly well we can chase the wolf away uh, we can close the gates if we're inside the yard uh, we can go inside, back inside the house. And now let's rate it again. Well, once we've done those controls, how, what is the risk? Well, it's a low risk. Guys, this is the basic foundation of a risk assessment. We're going to start with identifying the hazards. Then the risk. Then we're going to identify how dangerous it is. Then we're going to put controls in place. And lastly, rate it again to see if our controls is sufficient. This is the foundation of every risk assessment. Please note that it starts with a task. The task leading up to a method statement. And that is something that we're going to need to talk about next time. Because all our risk assessment must have a method statement that guides us in every single risk assessment. Looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you very much.